Israel Defense Forces troops were positioned near the border with Gaza on Saturday. They suspect Hamas militants have crossed into Israel. Army video showed what the IDF say were tunnels being exploded. Saturday was day three of the Gaza ground operation. Euronews asked how much longer will it take? The timeline for this operation isn't dictated by time. It's not days, it's not weeks, it's by a mission. We were given a mission by the government to stop terrorist attacks, to stop the rockets and protect Israelis. So we'll operate for as long as we need to do that. If we can accomplish that sooner, then we'll be out of there sooner. Many people injured in the ongoing violence were rushed to Gaza City's Shifa Hospital on Friday night. According to Gaza officials, more than 300 Palestinian people, including 70 children, have been killed in the 12-day battle. Mistakes will happen. It's an operation. It's an operation in the urban population. Uh, we've hit over 2,000 targets, and the incidents in which civilians were killed are still the vast minority. At the same time, we hold Hamas responsible for these deaths. They are dictating where we are operating, based on where they are operating from. Uh, and we'll continue to operate there. We have a right, we have an obligation to protect our civilians, and that's what we'll do. Our Euronews correspondent sent this report from Jerusalem. Even if the Israeli army succeeds in destroying the tunnels, it may not overcome the determination of Hamas. There's no guarantee that diplomatic efforts underway this weekend will stop the operation, whose first victims are civilians. Valérie Goria, Jérusalem, Euronews.